G'day everybody, uh, it's Matt here, and today I've got the Ubiquiti Unify USW16 PoE, which is a 16 port power over Ethernet switch. So that's it on the front of the box there, and according to the back of the box, it's a layer 2 PoE switch with 16 gigabit Ethernet RJ45 ports, including 8 802.3 AT power over Ethernet plus ports, and two 1 gig SFP ports. Now, this is pretty awesome because 802.3 AT is, as I mentioned, that power over Ethernet plus protocol, so it provides 30 watts of power per port compared to only 15.4 watts of power on the 802.3 AF power over Ethernet protocol. So that's pretty awesome. It says on the back of the box here that the Switch 16 PoE or USW 16 PoE is a fully managed switch with 16 gigabit Ethernet RJ45 ports including 8 802.3 AT power over Ethernet plus gigabit ports and two 1 gig SFP ports. The versatile USW16 PoE provides gigabit PoE links to Ethernet devices while also supplying gigabit fiber uplinks fit for an enterprise network. The switch also offers an extensive suite of layer 2 switching protocols including port specific operation modes like switching, mirroring or aggregation and features a 1.3 inch LCM color touchscreen that concisely displays key system and connection insights. With its 7.9 inch depth it's easy to mount this compact bandless switch in a Soho rack cabinet. The switch can also be monitored or configured from anywhere with the powerful and intuitive Unify Network web application and mobile app, which I love. So of course it works with the Unify Network application and the feature list basically covers off all those things that we just looked at from the description. 1.3 inch touchscreen with AR switch management, 8 gigabit power over Ethernet plus ports, 8 regular gigabit Ethernet RJ45 ports, 2 1 gig SFP ports. It does have a max 42 watt total power over Ethernet supply though, even though it does support technical that 30 watts on each one of those ports. So that is something to keep in mind if you're putting a lot of devices on this, what the max total power supply is. According to the bottom of the box here, the package contents are obviously the 16 PoE switch, and we've also got the rack mount kit and a power cord. So let's whip this one out of the box and have a closer look at it. So on the reverse side of the box, we have our seal here, and it just has a really handy, nice, easy to use little pull tabs. And we're into the box. So we'll open that one up. Inside we've got in the top another little box. Now this one contains all of our extras. So in here we've got our rack mounting kit. That's these two plates. And then also here the screws for mounting them and of course the rack mount screws as well. So mounting it into the rack. We've also got here a power cable and our quick start guide is in the bottom of this box too. Then we've got the switch. So this is nice and easy to pull out. I love the way Ubiquiti packages their gear. I'll just remove this foam packaging from it and then we can just lift and peel from the bag to remove it and so there we go that's the usw16 poe from ubiquity so if we have a close look at this one on the front we've got our touchscreen lcd panel over here on the left when we're facing it we've got our 16 port switch here so the first eight are our poe ports if we zoom in on that you'll be able to see the icons so these first eight ports here have the poe plus icon to indicate that these are all compatible with the poe plus protocol so we've got our eight poe plus ports eight regular gigabit ethernet ports and then our two gigabit sfp ports right at the end and there down the bottom right here we do also have our little reset button so that is accessible from the front of the switch when it is mounted in a rack as you can see there's obviously no rack mounting on this at the moment these sides are where the rack mounting kit is going to screw on so that's these plates that were in that accessories box got those four screw holes there and basically they're just going to mount onto the side like so line up with the front and we'll line up with the mounting holes so i'm going to do a separate video later on on how to set this one up and so i'll walk you through mounting these and sticking it in a rack mount and so on so make sure you subscribe to be notified when that one goes live and then coming around to the back the only thing we've got here really is our compliance information and our power input and that's just a standard power input socket all that's in here is actually just one little card with a qr code on it so if we open this one up i'll show you it you need to have a phone in order to access the quick start guide because that's it. It's just scan here to get started on this QR code on the front. There's also another one on the back. So we scan the QR code and that jumps us through to this website from Unify. And this is basically our quick start guide. It's got all of the components that should have been in the box. So that's eight of these M8 screws. They're the ones for attaching the rack mount brackets and of course the rack mounting stuff and so on. We've got all of our instructions then down here about how to actually set those up, how to install it in a rack, and then of course how to adopt it into your Unify software system. So these ones are pretty straightforward to set up. So there you go. That is the Ubiquiti Unify USWC 
2016 PoE network switch and everything that comes in the box with it. So I hope you found this video helpful. For information and pricing on these network switches, make sure you check out the affiliate links that are down in the description. And of course, give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one from me, including how to actually set up the rack mounting on this one and connect it up to your Unify system. And of course, also a bunch of other videos from me on other ubiquity equipment like the Dream Machine Pro, the Dream Machine Special Edition, and so on. That's it for me for now. Have an awesome one, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.